Hi, and welcome back to the Baby Blooms YouTube channel. I'm Hexy, and I've been editing for shares of Baby of Crafting, a lot of world design. All the places you can find me and links to anything I talk about in this video can all be found in the description box below. We are Saturday the 16th, I think. I might be wrong. So I am a day late in my podcasting schedule. I've been a day late with my uploads here on YouTube this whole week because that's just how the week's fallen. But I do have quite, not a lot to show you, but a lot of progress because on the whips I have, because I've actually been fairly monogamous in my crafting, which means I've actually gotten some stuff done instead of been a little bit on a bunch of projects. So first I do want to say um, the background's a little bit different because I've actually finally got around to rearranging all my crafting stuff and having a better space to work. So we got some good lighting right now and yeah, it's it's all working out. So we'll just jump right into finished objects. I have a nice little pile here. So first, the biggest finished object, which I did not think I would get done, is my autumn leaf pullover. I did it. I got it done. It's not blocked and I have not officially tried it on because I just haven't done that yet. But I didn't think I would get this done last time. I talked pretty much how I, I kind of just wasn't motivated to work on it. But one night we were gonna watch a movie and I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna start the sleeve. And I did and it took like a day and a half to get one sleeve done and then less than a day to get the next sleeve done. As is my usual story with sleeves. Sleeves, they take forever for me to start working on them, but once I work on them, they just fly. So that is what happened with this. So I knit this on a US 9 needle and a pattern by two of wands. I knit this on a US 9 needle. Um, I did the smallest size. I don't think I checked my gauge. Um, I also did it a little bit I did a few hacks. I did not do the folded over collar. Um, I did it a little bit cropped. I did it in the round completely. No knitting back and forth. I did follow the sleeve instructions, I think, to a T. I think. I know I did a decrease, I think, every seventh round. Um, I can't remember if I did as many as they suggested. I don't know. But I did want to say my bind off. I've had a problem with my bind offs, um, especially for sweaters. I did just a regular bind off in pattern, but used, um, so I knit this on a nine, I used a size 11 needle to bind off so that I just, it, it's perfect. I find I need to do that for my bind offs. I need to just use a bigger needle to bind off as I normally would, just so that it stays nice and stretchy. But the yarn is, I love this yarn in the Rosy Cheeks colorway. And yeah, I'm really happy with it. I did say the only thing I would have changed, or I, I could have changed had I not been lazy, is I do kind of wish this was the same size. Or at least, yeah, I wish these were the same size. I don't know why. I knew that going into it when I had seen other people make it, that I would want that the same size. I just didn't do it. I thought it would be fine. I think it's mostly because my row gauge is probably very different so this just looks really long like and i don't know in the pattern picture it looks like it would be shorter like even though they're not even i don't know whatever it is i don't care anymore i'm just really happy that it's done because once i get my other sweater done then i will have no sweaters on either needles or hooks and can start casting on the sweaters i want to make i did a video this week about six knit cardigans I want to make and I'm really eager to cast one of those on but this one's done super happy with it and I will be I will be wearing it eventually I just haven't done that yet I am worried it is like I said cropped because I did want my this sweater to be smaller than I usually make just a bit shorter because I usually make them a little too long um, I do think I might have made it a little too short but I found with like it's just 100% acrylic yarn, just chucking it in the washer and the dryer it does make it stretch a bit. So overall, it's fine. I'm happy that it's done. I'm really kind of proud of myself that I got it done because it's been languishing for a long time. Okay, so the other finished object is 
these leg warmers. I had one done last time. I did the next one. This is going to be the first pattern in my 5x5 stitch challenge that is I will be talking more about at the end of this month. It is coming. It's going to be so much fun. It's just essentially a challenge for if you're a crocheter like me who just gets stuck with the same basic crochet stitches and just a way to push yourself to learn more crochet stitches. And so this is the first pattern in that collection. And like I said, all the details for it will be coming very soon. So be sure if you are not already following me on Instagram and sign up for my newsletter, which both will be linked in the description box below where you will be kept aware of all the details surrounding this. But I'm super happy that it's done. I love them. These were crocheted out of I Love This Yarn in the Arctic Ice colorway. And yeah, I really love them. And they're just so squishy. So pretty. This was another whip that was just languishing that I just had to finally do little things for so I could finish the sample. And now I have, and I can go full steam ahead with this. So the next finished objects are, they're both half finished objects. Essentially they make a full finished object. They're both one sock, but they're two different pairs. So kind of it's a full pair, but not really, because I have to make the second ones. So the first one is this vanilla sock. This is just out of Patton's Croy. Um, oh, I don't have the tag. Wait, I have the have my basket already for to knit the second ones ready, and I, these full skeins. This is Patton's Croy in the Magic Stripes colorway, and I have a second skein already for it. Um, and it's just a plain vanilla sock using my shortcut heel sock recipe with a garter stitch heel. I love it. And I got these stitch markers on it just so I can remember the stitch counts for the leg and the foot because this is actually not a sock for me. It's just for, it's going to be a gift for later in the year. And it feels really nice. I just did a standard toe because, like I said, it's not for me and I, I socks for myself. I prefer my hat trick toe, but this is just the standard toe that is included in the shortcut heel sock recipe pattern. So I really love my shortcut heel. It's the only heel I do now. Um, it's a really simple heel, makes no short rows, increases and decreases, and it's amazing. So that's that. That finished object, and all my socks I knit on US 2 2.75 millimeter needles. And same with this one. And these sock blockers are from the picks in the medium size. So really happy I got this plain sock done. And I'm also really happy that I finally got this patterned sock done. I did done, I did not weave in the ends. Cause apparently I'm okay with that now. I usually don't leave my ends not woven in. But I have for this have been doing that lately, which is a little strange. So this sock is going to be, this is a cabled sock, and it's going to be part of a pattern collection for later in the year. It has my shortcut heel and stockinette. You can kind of see the, it's, I just put it on the blocker so it's not laying quite right. You can see the detail of the shortcut heel. It's got my hat trick toe, this fun twisted rib, or lazy twisted rib cup, and then the cable. I'll take it off the blocker to show you the cable better. I love this cable. I ignore all my stitch markers. I have to make the second one and write up a pattern so a bunch of stitch markers are involved. But this cable, this cable is so much fun. It's the perfect like balance between a bunch of cable rows and then straight rows and then more cable rows. It's so much fun. And I just love it so much. I'm really excited to to just work on this sock and get this collection out there because it's just so much fun. I really love cables. <laughs> love cables and cable repeats. So I have to um, write up this pattern and make the second sample and get testers and stuff. So if you are interested in testing this pattern, or just being a tester in general. I have a 
um, link below to a tester newsletter and all that means is that when you sign up for that newsletter every time I am in need of testers whether it be for this pattern or another one um, you'll get a, a an email about the test and a link to where the test is being held so if you want to apply for the test you can if you don't you just ignore the email signing up to the newsletter does not mean that you have to participate in every test it's just a way for you to if you are if you like testing patterns and you have a hard time finding patterns to test it's just a way of keeping you up to date on any tests i have going on so this will be in testing very soon so if you are interested in testing it then link for that is below but this is a knit out of knit picks stroll tweed fingering in the atlantis tether and it's a blend of 65% fine superwash merino wool, 25% nylon, and 10% donable tweed. And it's so pretty. You can kind of see it better in the sock. It's just this very nice green. I love it so much. I love this sock. And I'm very excited to... I, I bet the second one will probably fly. That first one, like I started that in December last year. Um, and it's just been languishing. But it's finally finally making progress on that pattern, which is great. Like I said, I have my basket all set up for both of these socks. To have a vanilla and a pattern sock on the go at the same time is just right. The only two whips I have all set to go to work on um, are crochet whips. I don't have any knitted... I have to start some knitted projects. <laughs> um, I just have to decide what I want to start. But I did just pick up, and by just pick up I mean today, both of these whips. So first I have my crochet ballet wrap by Make and Do Crew. It's been, I've been modifying it and stuff, it's a whole thing. But I did just, 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 just pick up the first sleeve. And I'm working on this and I hope to get this done very soon so that I feel justified in casting on a knitted sweater. But this is done out of out of this yarn in the gray colorway. I am worried about if I'm gonna have enough for both sleeves and trimming around the entire sweater. I don't know if I'll have enough. I might have to get another skein, which will hold me up, and I don't know if I like that. <laughs> but I do. It is coming along, and I think this is a this is a project that it's gonna be such a struggle to finish. But once it's done, I'm probably gonna love it. It's probably gonna be one of my favorites just feels really nice. It's got this half double crochet texture, but it's worked between the stitches, so it just feels really nice. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter hook, which is hopefully in my basket here. I don't know. I don't see it. So hopefully it's in the basket. Oh, no, here it is. 5.5 millimeter hook. And the other crochet whip I have on the go that I also just picked up today and worked very little on is my crochet on a groomy. So I have a little bit of a goal for myself this year. I want to make t at least 12 patterns in this book. One a month should be achievable, though I started this, I think, back in November and haven't made a lot of progress. But this is Nessie, and I will show you a picture in the book. This book is Unicorns, Dragons, and More Fantasy on a groomy. I got it off of the Nitpicks website. It's so beautiful. It's got all these on groomy toys. So much fun. I am making messy. I'll get to the right page. Here is Nessie. She's so pretty. So I just really love her. I want to make her. And it's getting there. I'm doing it. I think all the samples in this book are made out of fingering white yarn. I'm doing all mine in worsted. So they are kind of big. <laughs> Which is amazing. Look at this. So, um, last time I showed you Nessie, Nessie had a head. And I just did this little band. I had to do a little bit of her neck to kind of finish off her head. So this part is complete. And then I also did this will be her little detailing on her face. And I did these very tiny little like eyebrows, eyebrow pieces. It, with Amagurumi, you just have a bunch of little pieces and you're like 
and then it comes together and it's so good so i just have to trust the pattern at this point and work on it it's there's not a lot to do it's just i have to look at the pattern and i actually did like scan the pages to print them off i thought they'd be easier but i don't like having to shuffle through pages so i'm just gonna follow out of the book it's just something i need to sit down and really pay attention to it's not something i can just pick up like a sock but i do really want to finish her hopefully this month because then I can knit the next crochet the next one. Super fun. I do kind of want to make a video all about like I've crocheted a lot of amigurumi over the years, and I love amigurumi. And I found some tips and tricks to help me crochet amigurumi that I kind of want to make a video about. And so let me know if you're interested in that because amigurumi is so much fun. Have you made amigurumi? Do you love amigurumi? Do you just love these little toys? Because I do. I do. That's also in another little basket, all ready to be worked on. So that is actually all the crafting content I have for this week. It is not a lot, so this is a much shorter video, but I am really, like I talked about last week, I'm just, I feel motivated to work on stuff again over the holidays. I did not feel motivated to knit or crochet a single stitch, but I am really motivated now and have so many plans for projects and just all the things and it's so great so hopefully next week i will have well maybe i should set some goals for myself because it seemed i didn't really officially set goals last week but i kind of after the podcast kind of set myself some goals and i hit all those goals i finished the autumn pullover i knit i did both of these socks and the leg warmers i did i did all of that so i guess goals for myself this week at the very minimum is to finish this sweater and cast on and at least finish this sock. I don't know if I'll finish this one in the coming week, but I will because I have to do the pattern writing and stuff, so it's just more other stuff that has to get done before I can really knit the second sock. But this one I definitely want to get done because not that I needed to get it done, I just kind of want to make a different pair of plain socks and I don't want to leave this one languishing. So those are my goals. One vanilla sock, finished sweater, two sleeves and band, and possibly some yarn management. Those are my crafting goals. That's everything for this episode. If you could take a moment and comment down below something you were working on, I would love to hear about it. I get so much inspiration from hearing other crafters talk about what they're working on. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I'll see you next time. Happy crafting!